Hi guys, today we're gonna have a bit of a different video. There has been no wind recently, so couldn't couldn't really go out much. But this is a good opportunity for me to tell you about the wings, the sails I've been using for wing foiling. I have three different ones, starting with the Duotone foil wing from 2020. This is one of the first wings that Duotone released, I believe. It works with a boom. Then going to the Gong Neutra 6 square meters from 2021 and my main wing, I use it 90% of the time. And then we have the, the big boy, the Gong Superpower V2 9 square meters from 2022. All right, top tip for those of you who don't really like to pump up their wing. Um, what I do is I use a little camping battery pump. Yeah, this is usually used for air mattresses and things like that. And I don't know, this costs 20, 30 euros, maybe. Yeah, what I do, it, it doesn't pump up the wing completely, but to a point where then you don't have to pump so much yourself anymore. I know there is pumps that are, that you can attach, you know, to the 12 volt outlet in your car. But yeah, a cable can only be so long. Most of the times I'm setting up my gear not directly next to my car. At my spot, that's not really super convenient. It's quite dirty there, other cars are going in and out, so you don't have that much space. So yeah, I prefer this little guy, it's more flexible and it does the job. So here you see my wings set up. Let's start with the big boy, the Gong Superpower 9 square meters. You may have seen a recent video where I went out with it. It's definitely a specialty wing uh, in my quiver, something that I'm always scared of. You go like, go to a special place, summer vacation, nice beach, and then you have like eight knots of wind, nine knots of wind, you know, like, it's like at this limit where you see maybe some kite foilers out, but barely any, anyone else. And for days and days and days, you're just feeling like the whole vacation is kind of running away from you. This is the kind of conditions where I love to have this wing. It's very special also in these very light summer breezes. When you're up on foil, you barely hear anything. You don't feel wind, nothing. You're just hovering over the water. Of course, it's come, it comes with its downsides too. It's, it's very big, it's the biggest wing in the market. And so in the transitions, it takes longer time to go from one side to the other. Sometimes in the, in the jibes, you have to give the main strut a little bit of a push to accelerate that, but you get used to it. I'm a bigger guy, one meter 92 centimeters tall, which is 6'4", I believe. Uh, I weigh 88 kilos and then with wetsuit and harness and everything, helmet, probably above 90. So this wing for the very light wind days makes sense for me. Um, if you're much lighter um, than me, if you're more like around the 75 kilo range, probably I would recommend to go one size down. There is the Gong Superpower 7.5. It could be the, the better choice. It's less cumbersome. So one thing about it is that the big square meter size comes from the length of it. The central strut is very long. In terms of the width, they really did a good job in keeping it compact for its size. So yeah, I, I like having it. Um, I like using it, um, well, just as I like to use all my wings with, with a harness, but especially for a big wing like that, you know, if then some gusts hits and stuff. It's, it's definitely good to have a harness. The position of this harness line is a bit forward. You know, you have to think that the, the central strut is very long and they had to put these attachment points for the harness lines between these two handles. <clears throat> Ideally, it would be further back. Some harnesses, the ones that are specifically made for wing foiling, they have this flexible hook you know, they can move a little bit from, from left to right. And then in that way, 
you can adjust it a little bit and it's, it's much more comfortable. So I'm going to compare the wingspans now. So as you can see, <laughs> they basically have the same wingspan, these two wings, even though they're so different in size, but the difference comes from the length, as you can see here. And now I'm going to try to compare it with the four meter duotone wing. That one does have a shorter wingspan. And here you can see them in com direct comparison. So let's talk about the Gong Neutra six square meter. This is my main wing. I use it 90% of the time. It's my old faithful. I really like it. I learned the sport on it. At, the, at my home spot here, we typically get 10 to 18 knots of wind, I would say. So most days, this is the, the best wing for me. What is really nice about this wing, and we don't have enough of a breeze here to show you that, the name Nutra is supposed to tell you that this wing is great for going into the waves and keeping it here at this front handle behind you in a neutral position. It will barely move. And you can tell that when, you know, for example, you're walking up the beach with it, that if there's enough of a breeze to keep it up, you barely feel it in, in your hand. And, and that's, that's really nice. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what kind of wing do you use? Is it a stiffer construction? You know, where the pumping also then can be fairly fast? Or is it a softer construction like this one, where you have to have a little bit of a lower frequency when pumping to make it efficient? One more thing um, about the Neutra. If you have followed the wing foiling uh, freestyle world championship, the, the son of the owner of Gong is freestyle world champion. And I believe he did it with a Neutra wing, um, the newer version of, of this wing. So performance wise, uh, I think it's a good one. So now we come to the smallest wing of my quiver, the Duotone foil wing four square meter. It works with this boom. I got it second hand. It's in pretty good condition still, but yeah, a bit of an older wing. It's from 2020, one of the first ones that Duotone made and released. And it has this special construction without a main strut. From a preparation perspective, it takes less, less time to pump it up. <laughs> so that's nice. The boom if you're a windsurfer, you'll like the feeling of it. It's very familiar. And it has these, these bars here in the wing, which basically gives it its, its stiffness. Also, it has quite a pronounced dihedral shape. This, this angle is quite pronounced. I need a good amount of wind to get going with it and to, to make the, the, the pumping efficient. One thing, one, one disadvantage about this wing, and I think wings with, with booms in general, is this, this weight of the boom. And uh, maybe the dihedral contributes to it. Um, this one is very nervous when you have it in this neutral position here at the front handle. It will go like left to right to left. It, it's like even just, you know, carrying it into the water and out of the water, you, you have to deal with it. Sometimes I try just holding it here at the very beginning of the boom instead of the front handle because of this, this nervousness. I actually only used it properly one day where we had strong winds up in, up in Costa Brava. And then I tried using it one more day, but then the wind wasn't, wasn't strong enough. I know some people manage well with smaller wings, you know, you, if you have very good technique for pumping, if you have the right foil, um, if you're used to it, maybe it, it works for you. And if you don't have a harness, of course, you should try to go out with, a, with the smallest wing possible to not have too much strain on, on your shoulders and arms the whole session. Of course, with smaller wings, maneuvers are, are very fun, they're very nice. It's, it's, it's easy and light in your hands. The boom, it, ha it has its adva advantages. You know, you can only have one hand on it. In these transitions, it's very easy to make these hand switches. 
Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Please leave me a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.